Hello YouTube. So what I'm going to show today is some rod holders that I made for my pontoon boat. I uh, excuse the quality and uh, what's not. This is my first YouTube video. I don't do these at all, I guess. But uh, I've learned so much from, stole so much from YouTube and other places online and I really couldn't find anything, any real DIY rod holder videos or suggestions or anything anywhere online. Uh, your price rod holder is kind of for a pontoon boat that'll kind of hold on to this rail right here. Um, they're pretty expensive. I think the cheapest ones I found were about 16 bucks, and I really didn't like the quality. Uh, there were some nicer metal ones that were about 22 bucks a piece. Um, I mean, for 22 bucks, you know, you need five, six rod holders. I mean, it's been a hundred bucks. I'd rather spend a hundred bucks on gas for the boat. Uh, so this is what I did. It's uh, pretty simple. A couple pieces of PVC picked up from Home Depot. And that's the uh, end result right there. Again, sorry for the quality. I don't think it's looking that great on my side, so probably not on your side either. But uh, I think you get the gist of it. Uh, so I'll show you what I did. Was uh, so I got uh, just some regular, just inch and a half inch, inch and a half uh, PVC Schedule 40 pipe. Uh, so from this top rail to this rail is nine inches. There's nothing down here. There's no rail or anything in the middle here. So. There was it would have been nice i'd have made it a little longer give it a little more stability but this is actually pretty stable it's it's not going anywhere um so i got uh nine inches from the top to nine inches to the bottom of this to the bottom of this rail so i uh cut me a piece here 10 inches long i get uh this is called a sanitary t I call it a sanitary wide T. Or, um, this one is actually, this side right here that comes off is the 45 degree angle, is an um, inch and a half. And these other, the other side up here in the bottom are two inch. Uh, two inch is really too big, really, for my rods. I don't think anybody really has any rods that big. They're going to be putting on there but um this is the inch and a half right here that's more about what i need but unfortunately home depot only had two of these in stock um i really don't like going to home depot i much prefer lowe's but home depot happened to be closer and uh i figured it was just a few little items no big deal and sure enough it bit me in the ass um so anyway uh so I got, uh, so you just get this piece right here. You can glue it if you want. I didn't glue mine. And just hit it down a few times. And you're good to go. If you don't like this writing on here, if you line up this writing with this line right here, I don't know if you can see that. It'll face the outside of the boat, just like this one here. So you don't see that writing on the inside. If you don't want to see that writing on the outside of the boat or the inside of the boat, then you can uh, put a, uh, take some sandpaper and just lightly sand it and that writing will come right off. Or you can easily scuff these up a little bit with sandpaper and paint them. They'll, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And paint them to match your boat or whatever color scheme you got going on um, also uh, what I'm probably gonna end up doing with these later on is I'll get some two inch pipe and just cut a little one inch piece right here and put it in here just to close this hole up a little more so it's not so big and do the same thing on the back side uh, from there what I do is I uh, just drill a hole or drill me two uh, holes over here that, that are gonna catch the center here and then catch the center on the bottom half 
and let me drill them holes and I'll show you what it looks like. I got an inch and a half bit. You need a bit that's big enough to uh, support your uh, nut driver. Um, I'm using some tech self-tapping metal screws. It's a 5 16 inch bit. I left my driver up on the boat up there. So you need a hole big enough to for that uh, bit to fit through, which happens to be about a half inch for what I'm using. A half inch is actually a little too small, so I just wiggle it and bore it out just a little bit more and it fits just fine. So let me drill this hole and drill a hole in one and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll go put it on the boat. Alright guys, so we're back on the boat. Uh, I drilled my two holes here that are going to mount up about like so. And like I said, I got these uh, Tex uh, self-tapping metal screws. So you don't have to drill, you're not drilling all the way through the PVC, you're just drilling through one side. The other side, you can let the screw, screw drill through it. Uh, if you wanted to, you could drill a small pilot hole, I guess. Uh, don't really need to, though, with these screws. They uh, bore through that PVC pretty quick. So, give me just a second. I don't have no camera holder or anything. So, excuse the camera work and the quality. And, uh, again, and I'll uh, get one of these mounted up and show you what it looks like. Alright, so that one's uh, mounted up. Uh, like I said, these are pretty sturdy. I mean, this isn't... It's not going to get ripped off by a fish. If anything's going to get ripped off, it's going to be this top half that's not glued. But this is also really snug. I can... The reason I kind of wanted to test it out with the... Uh, uh, without gluing it was... In case I kind of want to move it for whatever reason. Uh, you know, move it either direction. Um... This rod is obviously not the right rod for this reel, but um, what I may even come back and do later on is uh, for the rods, uh, let me put a decent rod in here. This is my ragtag boat. You can laugh at it or not, but don't laugh at paid for what I like to say. Hang on just a second. All right, so here's a reel that has the right rod on it and belongs in here. So what I might do later on is come in with my router and just take a little chunk of this out so that this uh, slides in there so the rod doesn't go back and forth. I mean, that, it's not that big a deal to me, but a lot of rod holders have that. And if you want that, that's one thing you could do is get a router and just, you know, just cut a little groove in there. and be just as good as anything you're going to buy at Bass Pro Shops or Walmart or anywhere else. Uh... So I don't really picture this thing moving if a fish hits. I mean, it might move a little, but that's going to take an awfully big fish. Maybe if we're trolling, even if we're trolling, we've got the drag set light, so that's not going to do it. It's going to take a big fish to hit that thing, and he's going to have to be going to the right angle to pop that thing off, I think. Uh, also, if you don't have any pipe glue or you don't want to mess with pipe glue, you just put a little screw in here and to lock it down. Maybe one on each side, and you'll be good to go. You don't have to necessarily use those Tex uh, self-tapping screws. Just any uh, pointed screw would work. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that's it. So that's uh, my first uh, video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and hopefully it helps somebody. If you got any uh, comments of what you do different or any way to improve it and make it better, Leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks.